Hey, what's going on? Hey, in this video, what I want to do is show you how to get your business listed on Yelp. Now, I do it a couple different ways, so I'm going to go through it this way. Go ahead, go to Google, use one of those free Google searches that Brad and I give you unlimited amounts of. So, free Google searches when you join our group. Um, type in list my business on Yelp. Head on down to add your business to Yelp. And then what I want you to do is go through the process of adding this. I'm going to pause the video and save you the pain and agony of me filling this. All right. <clears throat> all of that has all of that was added. The one thing I did want you to look at was go to hotels and travel, then transportation. That's where you're going to find limos. Go ahead and add your business. Okay. We're going to get a inf or, uh, you're going to get a confirmation email. Um, inside your email, <laughs> confirmation email inside your email. Of course, I'm going to go over to my email now and get that verified pausing video. Okay, so I'm inside my uh, Gmail and obviously it's not there. I want to go over to social. There it is right there. Go ahead and confirm this. Hey there, confirm email address. It's going to verify that. All right, view your business on Yelp. Okay, then this business is now on Yelp. And what I'm going to want to do now is go through and just like I've done on all the other um, you know, listings is get this thing listed a hundred percent. Now it just says you don't have an account. So um, you're right. I don't. So I want to sign up with this email account that I have for the business. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I don't really want to sign up with Facebook um, personally because it's going to take in all my data. And we'll just do a quick little password. Sorry, I usually pause this. So much information. Just give me a moment here, folks. And I'm sure you gotta agree to something. Sign up. Pausing. Okay, once I signed up for that new account, it asked me to confirm my email address again. So I can't add any pictures until then. So I'm gonna click on this and confirm that. Um, and then I wanna show you what I want you to do. So now my email's confirmed. I'm gonna have you go back out of these and get back to this email. Um, go back into that first email where you confirmed it. This will help you get back to that page of um, doing the updates here. So now I can add a photo, hopefully. Choose photos. And this is where I want to go ahead and make sure I got a good photo in here. And I'm going to pick uh, that one right there. Hopefully it's not too big. save all right so there we go and obviously you can create and put more photos in here so um, my uh, I guess advice is to always trick hey there's our friend Weebly always trick out your ads 100% as much as possible so um, I don't see a whole bunch more to do but you can add photos here so we'll just go ahead and just keep adding photos to this thing just to just to make ours better than the rest of the people that would be uploading to Yelp again like I said in every listing you know what does Yelp want Yelp wants to um, they want to have um, is it, sorry can't type and talk. Um, they want to have the the listings that are the best. Um, so the better and more you 
uh, trick these things out the better. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video so you don't have to watch me write a bunch of stuff and add more and more photos to this listing. Okay, so right now I got five photos in there, so we could switch between the photos and pretty nice, get different shots of the limo, aerial shot, side shot, what have you. So that's pretty good. Um, after that, we're pretty much done with this listing. Um, and I do not see where to, if I have to save or anything, but I think from doing this before, and like I said, a lot of times I outsource this part of the process, so I'm going through this with you guys on this one, but um, I, if I see any other places, but I'm pretty sure at this point um, we are, let me just do a double check, yep, we are live, um, and we can now go ahead and um, we're in business. So make sure your citation is correct. Obviously it is. Um, that's going to match all the other listings. And it looks like we got some good photos. We got a bunch of photos. Um, and our Yelp listing is done. All right. We'll see you on the next video. Hey, what's going on? Dan Klein here. In this video, I want to specifically talk about this free instant quote plus bonus coupon and how this is going to work in your favor. So first and foremost, I want to under, I want you guys to understand why we do that. Um, I've seen a lot of questions come through about, well, how do I know if I can give a coupon out for this business if I don't even know who this business is? And so that's a really good question, and I knew it was going to be coming up. But what I want you to understand right now is that it's their design simply for the intrigue of it. Um, people want to be able to be promised something. So we're hitting really two different things. We're giving them something that gives them instant gratification, which is a free instant quote. Um, and we're giving them a special bonus coupon. But both were really not delivering either of those things. Um, it's there to generate the lead. So you guys have to understand in lead generation, um, it's not necessarily um, – what you say it's more about how you say it and so um, <clears throat> in this instance we know that it's gonna entice them to give us their information and there's been plenty of people in the group already who've been getting these filled out so first and foremost make sure beyond without a shadow of a doubt that you guys have um, the correct uh, email in there that it go it's coming to you you can always put someone else's email in there so it copies them on that email so just understand that so if you want it to go to you and to the business that you're sending it to you can do that another interesting thing you can do is let's just say for the sake of this conversation you had five different limo companies that were willing to partner with you from a lead standpoint okay and let's just say you said I'm gonna sell you guys these leads for five dollars a lead okay very inexpensive it's pretty much a no-brainer but you had five companies you could simply copy all five companies on the same lead now you might think that's unethical or um, strange of like that doesn't feel right but you have to understand um, one of the biggest companies on the planet right now is a company by the name of service magic service magic I believe is now under the um, the 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 umbrella of home advisor but what service magic does is exactly what I'm teaching you guys to do okay service magic's magic creates leads online in local markets and sells the lead to five up to five businesses they don't sell the lead for five dollars either the minimum amount and I will be posting their rates in the members area um, the minimum amount is usually right around like twenty to twenty five dollars so as you can imagine if you were generating um, a lead these limo companies all want a shot at it and they're going to get very very um, aggressive if they know that there's other people being copied on it the way these forms are set up is you absolutely could have this lead sent to all five companies and let the companies bid on the customer it's a different way to monetize your site and you could do it for very inexpensive like I said if it was five dollars and you were getting paid twenty five dollars because each person was billed five dollars for each of these leads it's a very good way to go now with the phone line you could charge more money per lead on that but right now um, a pay per lead model is really not what we're going for but I just want to explain that to you um, about your contact form that you are able to do those things now let's get more uh, let's get back to uh, what we were talking about not getting off off 
base here. Okay, so moving into this free instant quote plus bonus coupon, I want to explain, um, I'm going to go into that page real quick. I want to explain to you guys um, why we do it that way and then what this coupon actually could be. Okay, so many times, <laughs> this is what we put on this page. Um, so many times uh, when people put uh, coupons or when they think of a coupon, they think it's only going to be available for that limo company. But what you have to understand in the limo business, you're transporting large groups of people. So for business owners locally who, um, you know, there's there's basically there's many business owners locally who would who would very much encourage a limo of 12 15 20 people to be dropped off at their establishment to do business so whether it's a bar a wine bar sushi what have you so what i encourage you to do is create a coupon and go out there and this is you don't have to do this you can absolutely not even have a coupon at all if you didn't want to have one but you could go and find a local business and offer a coupon to their business make a make a deal and I'll give you a really good example here at my local window tint shop what we did was we went to a golf course and they gave us a free nine holes of golf for one person because the golf course owner said no one golfs alone and it doesn't really cost me any extra money to um, to, to, to give you this because they're gonna most likely bring friends buy other stuff blah 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 I had a tanning salon through in a $40 gift certificate for tanning the tanning salon said well it doesn't cost me any money to give away tanning and most likely I'll acquire them as a client it's a great lead for me and then I gave my $50 gift certificate to my limo company so when you get a free instant quote for um, window tint at my auto glass and window tint shop your free bonus coupon is is you get three gift certificates at those three different establishments when you book. So what does this do? This does a couple things. Number one, it doesn't it doesn't tie you to this whatever business that you're working with. It doesn't tie you to them um, for whatever discounts they want to do. Number two, it separates you in a price war. So let's just let's for an example, let's say there's five different limo companies that this customer I might call. But yet you've went out and you've created a really cool special offer on this page that when they book with our company through our through our uh, through, um, through coming through our site, um, when they book, they're going to get this gift certificate for a you know fifteen dollars at this wine bar in your town or you know twenty dollars for a winery or you know whatever it is that we forge as the deal. What it does is it it creates extra value without having to worry about if the limo company you end up working with is willing to do a coupon. See, we're doing it not for the coupon up front. We're doing this, we're really building the, um, we're really building the entire uh, offering on the front page around just grabbing a lead, okay? But on the back side, we understand that there's oftentimes these business owners are very rude on the phone. Um, they, they're they not good at follow-up, they're not good at closing, they're not good at all those different things. So the more the more things we can do to help close that deal, and that might be going out and forging some sort of, of you know special cool coupon that they only get when they book through our site, um, and they only get to redeem it once we have confirmation that they book, um, that's a really easy way to help these business owners close more sales and they don't even know why they're closing them. So they could be rude on the phone, their price could be even $10, $10 more, but that customer on the on the end side says, well I really want that $20 gift certificate to that wine bar that they're giving when they book. So think of added values to your market, added values to your limo service as what that special bonus coupon can be, okay? So those are some of the important things and I know a lot of been, a lot of questions have been swirling about that, but I didn't want to talk about it yet. I want to get the brunt of the work. Is this 100% necessary to even give a coupon away? No. There's been times, actually years and years and years, that I've I've said free instant quote plus special bonus coupon, and there's never a coupon actually given uh, manually. Um, usually, it comes on the phone with the the business owner just saying, "Hey, these are my specials." So you don't don't worry about it if you don't have the time or you don't want to go out and forge those deals. But understand, it only helps enhance your sales when you have these extra added bonuses 
that people can't it's not it's not just down to a price war of who's the cheapest limo in town having some extra added bonuses helps you helps you help these business owners close more deals secondly you what you'll find out is you start forging new local um, uh, relationships when you start having the golf course guy, the tanning salon guy, what have you, and you're telling them what you're doing, hey, I'd like to bring you in leads and groups of people because um, I own a limo service or I run a limo referral service and I want to give away a coupon when someone books one of these jobs and hopefully they'll bring all these people by and we can, you know, we can write the. Uh, we can write the, the the gift certificate to be you know you know with only on limo you know this is only valid on actual limo tour or whatever you know the, the the these business owners really start to like you trust you and then they ask you what you're doing and uh, it's another way to get through the front door of another business and start doing some of the other local business marketing things that I'm going to be teaching you in some of the bonus weeks that literally put thousands and thousands of dollars in my pocket that are so incredibly simple to do I'm going to teach you those things in weeks to come but for now I want to explain the free instant quote plus bonus coupon and the strategy behind it why we do it and what really the coupon should be behind it that's gonna help you facilitate more deals and I want to close with this one of the questions that gets asked to me all the time is Dan how do you know you're not getting screwed by the the limo owner maybe um, they don't they don't close on the on the phone but then the limo owner calls them calls these people back and whoops calls these people back and makes the deal uh, on a follow-up call and we don't know we don't know that it really happened uh, one of the ways you can you can save yourself from uh, that is if you have a coupon that is outside of the limo service um, that they have to tell you that they booked in order to redeem it then the consumer is saying, "Hey, I booked through your service. I need to, I need to grab that coupon." And you hold the cards to that, so you can literally have a phone number they call um, that comes directly into you, or they text message, or they email you to get their coupon once they book that limo. So the business, the limo owner, would actually never be able to go around you because these consumers are actually reaching out to. The special redemption email or redemption phone line to get a hold of this special offering that you went out and negotiated. So it's another way to keep everyone honest and um, ensure that you're getting paid on all the deals that you bring. Um, so that's that. Um, and in, in, in future videos, we'll be going into more of how this is the negotiation and everything's going to work. All right, see ya. Hey, what's going on? Dan Klein here. Hey, in this video, I want to show you how you're going to list your business on Foursquare. Some of you guys have probably heard of Foursquare. Foursquare is a really good power site. Um, and it's a site that I definitely want you guys to have your limo business or any business that you work with, whether that's a business that you're doing SEO for with in the future. I want it to be part of your process because these Foursquare listings begin to rank. So go ahead, Google Foursquare. Go to Foursquare for business. Okay. Um, and then let's go to your listing. Okay, go to the big uh, orange button, hit get started. Business name. So I'm just going to do my business search. It's not going to find it since we're just going through the process. Click here to add it. All right, I want to pause this and get the address information. Okay, so I got all this stuff filled in. I didn't have my Twitter handle because I have not got to that part of the process, but I'll just come back and do that. Um, and I got all that stuff. I didn't put a cross street in because I can't remember what the cross street was. I don't think it's a big deal. So I'm just going to keep going. Travel and transport. And then we're going to put limo. See if that gets us. Limo. Uh, Subcategory. Let's see if we can get subcategory that's looking good eh. well we don't have too good of subcategories I, I mean I'm just gonna pick taxi for the sake of it um, 
mark this place as private if it's not up to the public like conference room off it's only relevant to small group of people like the bench where we met um, so not private save <clears throat> the limbo company alright I'm the owner get started you know the phone number below here's the call to verify your claim okay I'll do that now I had a Foursquare um, I had a four I was logged into Foursquare so you're gonna have to create a personal account first but let's do this real quick I'm gonna pause okay now that that's done what they did was they asked who I was um, on the phone verification my relationship to my company um, my location <clears throat> so I just let them know the name of my company my name that I'm the owner and uh, uh, my location so I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna pay for anything but as you can see this name address phone number I wanna edit this uh, okay I don't know why that's doing that <clears throat> but this name address phone number is exactly as it saw it, you see it in Google and what what not um, so we will be getting a mail or a uh, <clears throat> another postcard in the mail for this to be verified so just this is just another important listing that you're gonna need because of the power that this site holds so go ahead get this done um, and get this verification done and the postcard will be coming in the mail and then we'll start being able to rank this site as well to just take up another location on on the search engines alright thanks Hey, what's going on guys? Dan Klein here. Hey, in this video what I want to do is I want to talk about some of the next steps of what we need to start doing for our business. So, number one, and please excuse me if you hear a siren behind, I'm right across from a fire station while creating this video. Um, I just did a quick search for window tinting in Eugene. This is just an example to show you um, why we need to start setting up other properties outside of just our site. Okay, so what you see here is facebook.com and you see my window tinning um, Facebook page and so that's pretty cool because what's happening is is we're actually ranking on page one for multiple properties so in this next step of what we're going to be doing we want to st start setting up multiple properties um, online and make sure we have our business that we set up ranking so as you can see we have our main site here here's a sub site which I'll get into late in later later down the road if we want to get into doing multiple sites but right now we won't we have our Google listings which you did last week okay and then we have a YouTube video which we're gonna get in later on and then we have our another site we have right there and then we have our Facebook page right there so you can see that, oh then there's yellow pages, so obviously the more places we can have our, our information spattered around, the better. So we're gonna start with Facebook, and right now I'm gonna go over, got there, and we're gonna go into pages, hit more, and create a page. Now I'm gonna do this for someone, it's gonna be a local business or place. Choose category, that is going to be transportation. The business name is new, Orleans limo street address let me just pull up this real quick copy okay now again this needs to match exactly as the name address phone number I'm gonna beat a dead horse into you guys making you understand that city there we go and of course we don't have a zip code all right hang tight all right there we go and we're gonna go ahead and get started all right just give it a second all right so category so obviously in this instance we're gonna be limo service airport shuttle um, those are probably pretty good um, just make your basic description don't copy my content um, You gotta remember the name of the city here. And 
sorry, bear with me while I do this, but this is the basic Facebook setup that you're going to want to go through. All right, and we've got our website. By the way, for the person that gave me this, you've spelled everything wrong, you're including your domain name and your phone number, but it's all good, man. I'm just going to do this for you while we go. Okay, so here you can choose your unique fake Facebook address. As you saw over here, I chose window tinting Eugene, so that was kind of cool. So go ahead here and just do, we'll do New Orleans Limo. Yes. Okay. Yes. Save info. So that one's not available. So someone already has that because they know what they're doing. So I just add service to it. Perfect. All right. So from this point on, we're just going to go and we'll upload one from a computer here. But you can go ahead and create your own. I'm just going to see if I have, uh, just for the sake of this video, I'll just try to move quickly here so I don't bother you and bore you. All right. Let's keep going. All right. Skip that. You want to add it to yours because you'll be managing it, but I'll go through that later. Later. Uh, now they're trying to sell me an ad, which I don't want to do, so I'm going to skip this part of it. All right. And now we have a Facebook page going. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and like that. Next. Next. Don't need to do anything else, but at this point, you have your Facebook page kind of done. And so um, that's it in a nutshell. Go ahead and add a cover photo and I can show you how to do that in another video if you have problems, but that's pretty darn easy. Um, I like to have my phone number in my cover or what have you. So then when people actually click through, um, you will have it, you know, when they click through here, it's easy and accessible. So they're not just hanging out on your Facebook page. So clean this up a little bit and then I'll show you in later videos how to kind of automate this process. Um, you know, let me just what was his phone number just get a post out there so we look like we're actually in business and then we'll start automating these posts the the you know the more posts and fans you start having um, the better it's just gonna help enhance everything And we're going to go post that and we're in business. Um, so that is how you set up your Facebook page. Again, we will get into audience building and those other things. Although they're not that important, I just ultimately want to use this thing to rank over time so we take up more real estate on page one of Google. So that's it for setting up your Facebook page. I will have you submit your Facebook page to us so we can help you build an audience with all of our members. We'll start helping each other do that. All right, we'll see you later. Hey, 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 Dan Klein here. Hey, in this video, what I want you to do is go ahead, if you have not already, go to Google and set up a Gmail account. Um, once you set up your Gmail account, you're gonna be able to go and set up a Google Plus account. And basically, a Google Plus account is kind of like Google's version of Facebook, but what it's going to allow you to do is when you're over here on uh, local listings, you're going to be able to leave reviews. So I'll click into these reviews, and as you notice, this person that just left one three weeks ago, she's got a picture. So this is that that picture. This is her Google Plus profile. Okay. So all you're going to do is go ahead and sign in um, to Google Plus with that Gmail account, and then all you're going to do is finish up that profile all the way so it's very simple to do very self-explanatory um, if I didn't already have a an account I would do it for you live but it's really really simple so um, literally go to sign in go to create an account down here fill in your information go ahead and hit next step and what it's gonna do is gonna create a Gmail account for you and then up in the corner um, when you're in Gmail let me show you real quick
what it's going to do is there is going to be a area up in the corner here where you want to click on this plus profile okay and you can then go in and start creating this Google Plus profile. For me, since I've already kind of set it up, it's already there. But uh, it's very simple. Um, it will step you through the steps of exactly what you need to do. Um, just go ahead and set that up completely and you will be good to go and you'll be able to leave reviews for people. Then what I want you to do is pick out some of the last couple places you were at in your area. So for instance, let's think yesterday I was at Trader Joe's okay so there's Trader Joe's in my market so I just Google Trader Joe's but it is bringing the one up in my market and I want to write a review and I want to write a review for um, I love Trader Joe's just wrote a quick review three four lines uh, is just fine um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and publish that and it's going to be published as me, my Google Plus profile. Okay, so what that does is for me is it gets me, it gets my uh, uh, my reviews out there, and I want to have more reviews. Google looks, if you notice, I've wrote 138 reviews. Okay, so I when I leave a review, it actually has some weight, um, and and people don't talk about this much, but Google has hinted around this for a long time that the people with more reviews when they leave a review for a business it can actually positively affect the rankings of a business so um, one thing that I've done over the years and I'll teach you the strategy in coming weeks a little bonus strategy of what I've done of why I've left and how I've left so many reviews all over the place um, and I don't always leave positive if I have a bad review you'll see a lot of positives but Google is smart to that too so you don't always want to leave a positive review if you've had a negative review at a place you know I, especially hotels that, those are the places that I can usually if it's grungy or, or disgusting or whatever I'll, hotels are one of those places that I'll, I'll do that at I try not to do negative reviews on anyone's local business because it can really really affect a local business good reviews for a local business are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and so it's important if you're going through this training that you start uh, you start creating your profile on Google and you start really leaving reviews um, around your area and so I want you to start with five right now and then what's gonna happen is as we start rolling this out more and more and more through this, the next several weeks um, I'll we'll start connecting you with other folks in the group and we can leave each other some reviews and and more or less not not talk like we use their service but just talk about them as people hey I know the owner of this company very solid person yada 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 so we're not doing anything outside the line of Google we're actually speaking about um, the person not the actual business but we're leaving it a review on their actual you know limo site or what have you so that's what we're gonna do um, that is how you do it go ahead set up your Google Plus profile today get a couple reviews out I will be asking you for proof of reviews to move you forward into some of the bonus sections of what we're gonna be teaching so please go ahead and do that and in the next video I'm gonna show you how to get your Yelp set up hey what's going on Dan Klein in this video um, I'm gonna show you where you sign up for Yelp so you can go ahead and create a Yelp uh, personal account this isn't for your business it's for your personal account and most likely if you set up your business already you've already created your personal account but if you haven't go ahead and just click on this big button that says create your free account and you can either sign up with Facebook or you can sign up without it uh, it's very simple to do so but once you're signed in you can go ahead and leave reviews for businesses now of course in Yelp they're they're incredibly difficult um, to get reviews to stick um, so they're looking for people that are are actual you know real real Yelpers um, so I went to dinner here the other day so what I would do is come in here and I'd write a review about them um, and I really like them um, okay so I just went ahead and wrote my little review as you can see not super long but it's not one line and this is one of the things they look at um, when you're doing reviews um, if they're gonna start filtering you or not so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna post this um, uh, I guess it's private I don't know what it is 
whatever. Okay, so there's that. And so it looks like I've done like 10 reviews or something like that. So I want you to go ahead and I want you to go um, and write five or six reviews in your market. It doesn't always have to be a good review. Again, you can use a three star or four star, be honest. Go out and write some reviews, but the reviews are gonna be huge for the reason of this. You're gonna notice Yelp right here, and this is my competition, and I'll tell you the reasons why I haven't been overly pushing this for myself. But these reviews stick out like a sore thumb. I mean, those five star reviews. Now, uh, you know, my company is listed here, we're here, and we're here, and obviously we have a ton of reviews on Google, not as many on Yelp, okay? But you will notice I do have my Yelp, my yellow pages, and which will be another place we'll concentrate uh, soon, um, but it's just important to go ahead and uh, get those Yelp things going so you can cr increase the reviews um, and these reviews will start showing up and it will make it look uh, very nice in the search engines. Alright, see ya.